And hello everyone and welcome to another Xero video where I work on my truck, sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And on today's video I'm gonna be working on my skid plates again, but today I'm working on a new skid plate, which is gonna be for my transmission. I just finished working on my oil pan slash radiator skid plate, I think it came out pretty good, so feel free to check out that video as well. But as of now I have nothing protecting the rest of my underbody, so that's what I'm gonna be working on. So this is gonna be my piece for the, for the transmission skid plate. I already have it all marked where I'm gonna make the bends and where I'm gonna make the cuts. So my front portion over here is gonna be 20 and a half inches, which is gonna meet with uh, my oil pan skid plate. Then over here I need to make a five degrees bend, then 18 inches down, then 11 inches down. I'm gonna make another five inch bend to sort of bring it up and out. I guess that's what it is. And the remaining portion is gonna go back and that's where it's gonna secure it at a crossbar. On a blueprint, this portion over here, I think it's not even getting secured at all or the other way around. But I'm making my plate longer so I have it to port it on both sides. I believe that's how it is. I might be wrong. Anyways, and then I have another half inch on both sides. I'm planning to bend it as well to make two for reinforcement. So now I'm just gonna start cutting it, all the lines, and then I'm gonna work on bending this. So one side is cut, so now I'm gonna work on the other side, gonna cut all of that extra stuff, and then I can start making the notches where I'm gonna make the bands. And the second side is cut out. So now I'm gonna cut all of this halfway on both sides. That's gonna be for our reinforcement. And then I'm gonna make two notches over here. So all the cutting was done and wherever I need to make the bends is done. Uh, on the sides over here, I'm gonna have to go with a bigger grinder wheel and enlarge this groove. So when I'm bending, the metal can easily bend in there. <laughs> now that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger. So now with the weight of a car, I'm gonna make my first bend, which has to be only five degrees. So that's almost nothing. Just a little tilt up and then I'm gonna slip the plate around and I'm gonna make the second bend. All right, let's hope it works. <laughs> all right, that's all we need, just a little bit. This should be about 5%. So now let's see if I can bend it the other way, about five degrees, give or take. Okay, I think both bands are done. They pretty much what we need. If you look at it, this goes up and this is pretty much straight. Maybe it's a little bit off, maybe this is bent a little bit more or this needs to be a little bit more, but this is no big deal. So my next step is gonna be to bend these edges in and then we can start welding this. So this is slowly coming to what seems to be like a skid plate. As you can see, I'm working now on my edges over here. Uh, I, I made the channel over there with a cut off wheel and a grinder so then I was just bending this with a uh, big channel locks and with just a lot of uh, heavy breathing and a lot of grinder so <laughs> didn't really even record that part so now as I'm bending this in the the gap is closing there so I'm gonna take the cut off wheel again and I'm gonna enlarge it again so I have more room to bend it 
and then I'm gonna start welding it. I'm gonna measure it one more time on the truck. As you can see, I actually cut it a little bit over here because it was too long anyways. But yeah, I feel like it's coming along. So I enlarged the channel over here. So now with the help of vice grip and a little piece of pipe, I'm actually trying to bend this and it seems to be working out. I think it's done. I think it's pretty good. Considering the, the limitation of the tools and skills, <laughs> I think it came out not too bad. So now this can be sent off and pretty much be ready to be welded. So I got all my welding equipment ready. Everything is set up. So let's just start welding all of the bands and all of the edges over here. Hopefully it's gonna come out alright. I think it's coming out not too bad. Uh, this time I'm actually welding it in parts, like a little bit over here, then a little bit over here. I'm not doing a continuous weld right away because I don't want the metal to warp. So that's something that I've been told it's not good to do. So I'm doing it one part at a time, but then anyways I'm interconnecting them the welds. Eh? So that should be fine. I filled up this band and this cut with a with the first weld and then I grind it off and then I'm gonna weld it again to reinforce it. So I think it's coming out not too bad. Finally the skid place is pretty much done, all the bands are done, everything is welded, all the edges are welded. As you can see I had to cut off a little piece over here on both sides. I knew I'm gonna have to cut it because that's gonna interfere with the uh, crossbars. But other than that it's all done. I tried my best to weld it over here for better reinforcement. So now I'm gonna try to mark all the holes where I need to drill in order to, to mount it. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I'll do my best. And then once all the holes are done, I'm gonna mount it, make sure it fits perfect. And then I'm gonna start painting it. So I mark where the bolts are gonna be. Um, so hopefully the measurements are correct, but you never know. So now I'm just gonna try to drill them all. Then I'm gonna put it in place just mounting by these three bolts and then I'm gonna be working on and marking where the other holes has to be so it all lines up. So now the front of the holes are done. I'm gonna put it on in there and make sure it all fits. So right now I just secure it to the front two bolts only in place over there just to keep it in place and it's already looking pretty good let me tell you that but anyways now I'm gonna work on marking where I need to make my holes over here on this side and of course I'm gonna drill them as well but this is looking pretty good I like it and this is what I was talking about I needed to cut this out it's all good I knew I'm gonna have to cut this out anyways a few moments later so sometimes I don't know what I'm doing or something but my plan keeps changing so originally I was planning to have this plate longer to utilize these five holes to bound the plate over here but I'm not gonna do that there's no need for that gonna use these two holes to mount the plate 
and that's gonna be more than enough and all of these holes this uh, nuts in there that's gonna be for a transfer case so I'm gonna mount and secure it over here and then somehow I'm gonna mount it over here so that's gonna be my next plate to work on but now I'm gonna cut this shorter once again and then I'm gonna clean it and start painting so little by little the plates getting smaller and smaller but originally I had one idea but as the time went by I figured out there is no need for to do that so that's what we're at now so now I'm gonna clean it with the acetone let it dry which is gonna take a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna apply this primer I actually picked up a different primer this time it's a clean metal primer that should be better we'll see okay I think it's clean enough hopefully it's gonna be clean enough so now I'm gonna set up on my makeshift painter stand and I'm gonna start painting Okay guys, the skid plate is ready. It's all painted. I painted it from both sides again. I painted black on the inside and the silver color on the outside. I think it came out pretty good. So this is how it looks up close. I might be not the best welder or anything, but I think this is acceptable. I think it came out alright. Now the front where the skid plate is gonna overlap with the existing skid plate. I'm gonna replace my bolts for longer bolts, the 30 millimeter instead of 25. And for these two holes, I picked up these grade 8 as well bolts, uh, 316s. So now let me just get under it and mount it up, and then I'm gonna show you how it looks. And look at that guys, it's all mounted. <laughs> I think it came out pretty good. So over here I use a 3.8 bolts with a, with a big washers on top. I, now I feel like this bolt is a little bit too long. I mean there is still about an inch between the bolt and uh, dry shaft. But I'm probably gonna replace it for sure one. So the same one is over there. And over here, of course, I replaced these bolts for longer ones. And this one, I got the longer one from the beginning. Anticipation that it's gonna... Two plates gonna overlap here. So, that's all good. But, I think it came out pretty good. And this is the little notch I had to make out to accommodate for these crossbars. But that came out as well, pretty good. And then it overlaps a little bit over here, just for extra support. And this is gonna be for my next step, which is gonna be for the transfer case. So that's gonna be my next skid plate that I'm gonna be working on. It looks a little bit complicated, but I think we can make it happen. But as of now, I'm glad I have these two skid plates. I know they might not be perfect or anything, but at least I have something now. Alright, another project successfully done. I personally consider it a success, especially since since I didn't have there anything anyways and now I have some kind of skid plates. Like I said, they might not be 100% perfect, like from uh, if you buy them online, but for sure they're gonna do the job. So now I'm gonna be even more confident going off-road once I get my last skid plate for my transfer case. So that's gonna be what I'm gonna be working next. So hopefully that's gonna be in the next video. Like I said, that one is gonna be a little bit tricky to make. There is certain bands in there that I'm not sure yet. But I hope it's all gonna come out alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed this videos and this journey of me making these kit plates and learning as well how to weld and do the metal work and who knows maybe you guys gonna do the skid plates on your own it's a lot of work yes but it's fun and to learn and to do it yourself so on this note i hope you guys enjoy these videos i hope you might find it helpful and until next time everybody bye